13 minutes past 8 o'clock right now, and yes, it is time for the party scoopers, folks. We get a Democrat and Republican in the studio. We let them go at it and give their opinions <laughs> on the current topics of the day, and we have Jeff and Craig joining us once again. Welcome, gentlemen. We don't want to wreck your new set. <laughs> <laughs> Go at it's it. Fancy, verbally. fancy new year, fancy new set. How yeah. about that? Awesome. But probably the same topics of discussion when it comes to politics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This see, see, we didn't have a partial shutdown uh, when we redesigned no, the I studio. I think you guys must have been working hard over yeah. the holiday. They, they really did a great job here. But uh, <laughs> that seems to be obviously what everybody is talking about is what is going on. Well, uh, it's, it's not surprisingly, this is a little crazy. Uh, we have a shutdown of the government for no purpose other than Donald Trump trying to play a little politics. Like, we don't really have an impasse on what the overall spending is of the federal government. We don't have an impasse on the debt ceiling. Those are the, typically what shutdowns are about. Right. Big issues. And this is just Trump trying to get a win on a wall. And the Democrats have just taken over the House of Representatives. Uh, Trump was not able to get the wall funding passed that he wanted when the Republicans controlled everything. Now he's trying to pick a fight with the new Democratic majority in the House over some issue, and he decided it's going to be the wall. And I, I just think it's a huge mistake for him. Uh, he's going to give this speech tonight. This is a terrible format for Trump. He does not do well on a teleprompter. He doesn't do well sitting behind a desk. Like, he does his best, and we talked about this before we came on, in front of a raucous crowd. Mm -hmm. and, and there's going to be nobody in the room with him, just a camera. Are you and sure? Like, he might call in people well, so that he no, has... no one's ever sure with this guy. But, <laughs> like, I just, I think this is a dumb fight. I think it's a, it's a dumb argument. Um... But he wants to talk to the people because the people put him in office. And this is something he's talked about a lot when he was oh, campaigning. Yes, and so he, he, he had a Republican Congress for the last two years to try and get this wall funding. And I think this is a, this is a fair point, that Republicans did control every branch of government. And the fact that they couldn't get additional wall funding through uh, before the changeover um, shows the, the problems within the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Again, it's it's even. I know it's five billion dollars or whatever he, he wants. It's uh, in, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge, you know, a huge tab that's that's you know really going to change things all that much. And so, I do think it's a little frustrating though that the the Democrat response is just no, that we can't come to a compromise solution with this. And and you know maybe we should let. Border Patrol decide the type of barrier that needs to be created. Because that was just talked about yesterday. Yes. They, they said they're gonna, they wanted I, to change I feel the like type. it's a moving target. Yeah. I mean, we're hearing that a wall is immoral. Well, we have about 600 miles of fencing now, and, and I don't know how a wall is immoral. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you, have to, you have to control your border. Every country uh, in the world controls its borders in some way. And so I, I think this is really we're off the road, and I think both parties are off the road a little bit, making this really partisan, and 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 in the meanwhile, people are getting hurt by it. So that's my biggest fear, because it has become so partisan, and so like, I'm going to win or I'm going to win, yeah. no compromise in the middle. And I can't I, compromise because I don't want you to say it's a win. Right, that's right. so well, that's my fear, yes, so and, and how long... the problem long is, we've got experts that, that say... In some places on the border, it's best to have electronic surveillance. In some places, it's best to have personnel. In some places, it's good to have a barrier of some sort. But we're not listening to experts. We're just playing politics, and that's what's wrong with this whole thing. But we're debate. hurting others because of that. So we have, uh, what, millions of people out of work right now because they're, they're government employees. Uh, we have funding being lost for people that need it yeah. right now, and that's going to be draining pretty soon. Absolutely. Uh, I think I heard after this weekend it will be the longest shutdown we've mm -hmm. ever experienced in our history. Uh, yeah, on Friday. I don't see how this is going to come to a compromise unless we give one side or the other what Well, and I don't know what causes it to end because I don't know if the level of hurt has risen because it is a partial shutdown where Social Security benefits are still being paid, Medicaid still being paid. Everything is, op a lot of stuff is operating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to get to lower level th stuff for it to, to, and not saying that, you know, federal workers, you know, a lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. Right. And that obviously hurts. And but particularly after the holidays. That it's a, it's a terrible time The timing time for is it. horrible. And the second thing is, I, I've got a friend who's trying to start a new business. You can't get an EIN issued from the IRS. Mm -hmm 
to start your new business. If right. you don't have a tax identification number, you can't get a credit card, you can't get a bank account, right. you can't get So going. even those are shut down? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they're not issuing those. Didn't realize that, but the ripple yeah. effect, as Jackie mentioned, the ripple effect is starting to take into uh, oh, absolutely. into account. Uh, everything. I mean, we're having You're still going to have to pay your taxes. Yeah. T TSA <laughs> right. agents. That's one that I, ju I was just going to mention. Yeah, TSA. What's the what's they're the They're working with without. They're working without, without pay. pay. Mm -hmm. and, well, some of them aren't showing up to work, which means we have people that aren't. Wa we're talking security, mm -hmm. which means we have people that aren't. Well, or it's our causing security trouble in mind with air travel. Traveling. Like it is going to continue to mount. It's going to snowball. So when we have a president who we'll, obviously we'll hear more from tonight uh, as he speaks to us in prime time, uh, saying that this could go on for years. <laughs> well, I understand well, he says things that, right uh, just to get everybody's just, attention. Yeah. Everybody's attention, mm -hmm. but is that even possible? Could we do that? He also says he's the most productive president <laughs> in the first two years of any two years of history. But here's the problem. He just fundamentally doesn't believe the, the, in governing. And he doesn't think any of the stuff that he does matters. And that this is all a show. And he's going to win on this argument. And it, it doesn't occur to him that there are real people involved. And that's fundamentally the problem. That's what's going to be hard about reaching an agreement or a, or a compromise is because he doesn't want to compromise and solve a problem. He wants a win that he can trumpet at his at his next rally. Well, I think we're going to see more politics tonight too. Democrats are demanding the 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 chance to to give a response, a response to this, right. which is which is kind of new. I think NBC is going to grant it. Oh, they I'm are. sure it'll be on uh, cable news all over. And so again, my problem with that is it's not the fact that you can. The way our news is structured, you can always, you know, chime in on your thoughts. My issue is, is I don't think we're going to, no one's going to sit down if Nancy Pelosi or, or Schumer, they're not going to sit down, listen to what the president says, and then formulate a response to it. They're going to have a response ready to go. It's probably and it's, ready it's, to go it's, now. It's yeah. just more partisan politics. Yeah. Well, if and so I don't think there's any. No. If Congress is supposed to be working on behalf of its constituents, you know they're saying, please find a uh, resolve to this. But then right. that means they have to give in so that they can take care of their people. Yeah, and I, I think he just, I think Trump's view of this is, I'm going to hold firm and they're going to buckle because ultimately they care more about governing than I do. But they've wanted, the Democrats have been willing to do more on this than they, uh, previously with Trump than before. I mean, yes. you could make a deal with, with uh, DACA and, and some of these other issues. Mm -hmm. That stuff's not even on the table now. It's just a hard no. Uh, okay. So this is a one issue that we want this built, and that's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's it's just it's just a no to the to the to the dollar amount, and there's nowhere to go. I mean, there's really no negotiating going on. And this is the new territory for Trump. Trump has never I think had it's the new territory for a country. Well, yes, of course it is, but Trump has never had divided government. He's always had Republicans in charge of everything. Mm -hmm. And he's had issues with Republicans, mm -hmm. as Craig has pointed out. But this is the first time he's dealing with people who are not part of his party. And I don't know how this is going to go. Well, right, we'll find, gonna out find out tonight. Out. Yeah, prime time, our president, and uh, possibly a response. It will all be happening. <laughs> Maybe. And I'm sure many people will be watching we'll be as watching. well. You've been watching.